start na po direct. Bali, introduction mo na tayo. Hello, I am Therese Laurel. I am a high school student. Hi, my name is William Benjamin Stanford. I am currently working at St. Alejandro Hospital for more than a decade. Hello everyone, this is Preston Cuesta. I was invited for today's interview and I hope to be a helpful interviewee for today. We have prepared some questions and you're going to answer it based on opinion and experience. Okay po? First question. I think the biggest change po for me as a student is the learning system. Before we used to attend face-to-face -face classes and gain po for everyone's safety, ang system po ng learning ay through online and through giving out modules. Um, it was really hard po, especially um, when it started because uh, um, everyone is, or most of us is new sa ganito pong type ng learning. But after more than two years of the pandemic, medyo kasanay na rin po kami, but still, we are hoping to be able to go back to that traditional learning na po soon. Uh, before, me and my colleagues, my co-doctors, and all other medical personnel, uh, we were just doctors. And now, we are frontliners in this time of the pandemic. It gave us a sort of a new experience, like we have to stay alert more than we used to before the pandemic. And now, we must be vigilant every time in everything we do. We must prioritize our safety and the safety of others. And it gave us the feeling of courage. Kasi kami ang sasandalan ng mga tao eh. Being a doctor itself, treating the patients and all, is difficult as it is, but now, it has become more challenging than before. It is difficult, yes, but we have to. This is our job. Not only that, but our service to the people and humanity itself. Hope. Resilience and unity. Um, our interconnectedness. Hope because I want people to know that we can get through this pandemic. If we can restore the hope of the people, they can strive and be resilient in life because they know that they have a future. A future that the government should help them achieve. Because how are we supposed to work hard every day if we aren't sure that we will have a decent tomorrow? Hopelessness is saddening. And so hope is what I would like to restore. Restoring resilience depends a lot on the person, really. Whether one is strong but doesn't have the courage or dedication to do it, or one that is weak but have what the other is missing. This is where unity comes in. In both sides have its ups and downs. Um, if those sides join forces, they are unstoppable because both overcome their weaknesses. There is no resilience if there is no unity. We have to be reminded of our purpose or why we have to do what we are doing. Now, for the last question. What is the encouragement that you want to give to the Filipino people? Do not lose hope. Um, as youth, naniniwala pa rin po ako na kabataan pa rin ang pag-as ng bayan. I want all the people to know and be reminded that we are a people of unity. We must not build distrust and hate amongst ourselves. And uh, we must stop being self-centered. Respect is unity. Respect is earned. And if there is no respect, there is no unity. And if there is no unity, there is no resilience. There are a lot of people who care about your future. This pandemic had never stolen your future. You won't let it. And you must not do. Mm -hmm.